Well, hello there. Thanks for clicking on the video. This is Nate. And I want to introduce you to the Champion Hidden Valley Model 6623M. This is a three bedroom, two bath, 1880 square foot home. I know y'all are gonna like this one. In fact, I just did one not too long ago, actually in Montana. This one's got some nicer options in it. So stick around, you're really gonna like it. I wanna say thank you to uh, Luxury Homes here in Springville, Utah for letting me come film their homes. With that, there's a lot of noise out here, so let's head on in. First things first, you can tell this is a very large home when you walk in, just based on the living room. <laughs> now mind you, there's no light in the living room, so all the light we're using right here is coming from the windows. And as you can see, it's a very large living room. We do happen to have a coat closet right over here, right when you walk in. And this coat closet is really big in nature for being a front coat closet. And if that's not enough space for you, you have a linen closet right over here. But now back to your living room. It's a big living room here. I would like to have seen what type of light fixture they were gonna put in there, but uh, of course you can option in just about any light fixture you want. And you do even have a recessed light right above your entranceway. So you can leave that on when you take off and you plan on coming back after dark. So that way you've got some light as soon as you walk in. Swing around here. Nice big wide patio door there, sliding glass doors. Let's in obviously <laughs> with the, uh, without having the covers on them, there's a lot of light coming in through there. Got the dual recess lighting above you. I wonder what they're putting in, it's a great big Great big leveled out field back there. And over here you've got this really large quartz countertop island here. Lots of cabinet space in the front. Got your garbage bins. Once again, it's nice to see that they thought of that and they put them in. See, a lot of times you don't have that, and so then you have to have your garbage can kind of sitting off to the side or whatever else. The nice hanging light fixtures here. Uh, plenty of room for three there. Now what I haven't showed you yet, a flat top stove, a separate oven down below. And you got the white cabinets. Over here, you've got a spot to store your flat pans. Great big pots and pans doors here. Two of them. A little bit of storage down below your microwave. Now 
And these are the stainless steel Whirlpool appliances in here, by the way. So lots of cabinet space. Soft closed doors. And I really like this kind of brownish marble backsplash that they used. Now in a previous model, I saw that they took this backsplash all the way to the ceiling there. Great big window with some uh, lighting up above you there. And if you haven't guessed, we've got a big old smuggler's pantry here. This one is so large that they actually included a window back there. Something you don't normally see inside your smuggler's pantry. Now they've got a whole bunch of stuff stuffed in there, but that is your water heater with an actual door in front of it. That's something you don't see very often. Usually when they put the water heater in there, it's usually right there at the very end. You got that screwed on door thing. That looks really nice the way they did that. So once again, this one's got the some of the more upgraded options on it. So it looks really nice when they do that. Our kids' rooms are down at this end. But we're going to start with the bathroom. And your bathroom is a little bit larger than normal. Space between the toilet and the tub, which you don't normally have that much space. Got the six light window above your tub there. Nice shower tub combo. Still soft clothes in your bathroom. Nice set of drawers right there. And this is why I wanted to come from the bathroom to show you. Your kids' rooms, the doors are kind of angled at a 45. Gives you just that much more space in the bedroom. And allows for a more open hallway there. Not that the hallway is very long. Your standard size closet. Bedroom number two, this one is about the same size as the other one. So I know the road noises always sound way louder in editing than they do when I'm actually filming them because you don't hardly hear the road noise. But for whatever reason, when I'm filming, it sounds really loud. So if I miss some of the road noise, I'm sorry, but I do try to edit all that out when I'm editing. Great big master bedroom. That is a king size bed. So we have dual transom six light windows. Not that you can see the dividers. Nice big bedroom here. Now when we get into the closet and the master bath, I will explain an option that uh, you can have done. Previous version I did had that option.
So this home here comes with this really large walk-in closet with a whole lot of built-ins. You've got dual racks right when you first walk in. Lots of shelving down here. Another set of dual racks. Of course, more down here. Maybe option that shelf out and keep that for your long stuff there. The other option that you can get would cut this closet off, if I remember correctly, right about where this board is here. So your closet would come across that way, giving you more space in your bathroom. And I'll explain what that space is for once we get in here. Hello rated. It's going to get a nice center stack of drawers there. Dual sinks, really nice countertop there. Got that same backsplash that they used in the kitchen. So you've got easy access to your toilet. I know some of you guys don't like the toilet being completely closed in. So this gives you your privacy, but yet not completely closed in. And in the other uh, home where they had the shorter closet, this wall would cut off pretty much right about where that light switch is. And that's where your tub would go. And it would run from that end down this way be sitting up a little higher, sitting, starting about where that, the deck of your drying area is in your shower. Now this one gives you the really wide, now it looks like a tile shower, but this is actually a Formica. So not quite a tile, but looks really nice. And again, you got your shower control, Shower head, I'd probably option in the rain head on that. Probably get a wand in there also. But in the previous home, like I said, this was your drying area and your tub was right over in this area. Looks really good. And with that, you should check out the comment box. If there's none down there, y'all should start commenting. Of course, you should comment either way. Whether there is any comments down there yet or not, let me know, what do you think? Did you like the home? What options would you like to see done differently? While you're down there, go ahead and uh, hit that uh, like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, make sure they're both gray. Leave me a comment, you know the drill. It always helps the videos perform better. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye. So what did you think of the home? I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked it. Of course, it kind of says the same thing, right? <laughs> anyway, so I figured I'd give you some pricing on the home while I'm here. So this home starts at time of filming in August of 2022. Of course, prices vary. You know, they go up, they go down, you know, you know how the game goes. But this home here in August of 2022 starts at about two hundred and two thousand dollars of course as i said prices vary there could be other city and county regulations that aren't included in this price there may be you know extra delivery fees depending on where you have this home delivered so keep all that in mind now the price of this home as shown is two hundred and forty thousand dollars so you know there's about uh, $39,000 or $38,000 in options in this home. So keep that in mind. I mean, you could get this home a little bit cheaper. Could be a little bit more if you went with that optional bathroom that I was describing. With that, have a nice evening and I will see you in the next one. Bye.